today we're going to be talking about how to make a change of variable to solve a differential equation. And in this particular problem, we've been given the differential equation y prime equals x plus y. And we've been told to use the change of variable u equals x plus y. Now the goal here is to get our original differential equation completely in terms of u instead of in terms of x and y. So if you notice here, we have u equals x plus y. If we make that substitution, we get y prime equals u. So the right hand side is taken care of. That's already in terms of u. We just need to get the left hand side in terms of u as well. The way that we'll do that is by manipulating our substitution over here. We'll solve for y and then we'll take the derivative of this equation to make a substitution for y prime. So in order to solve this for y, we'll subtract x from both sides and we'll get y equals u minus x. Now if we take the derivative of this equation, on the left hand side we'll get y prime, and on the right hand side we'll get u prime minus 1. u is actually a function, it's not just a variable because it includes x and y here, so we have to treat it like u prime, but x is just a variable, so its derivative, the derivative of negative x, is just negative 1. So now we have an expression for y prime, and we can substitute that in over here on the left hand side for y prime. So we'll get u prime minus 1 is equal to u. We want to go ahead and solve this for u prime. We'll get u prime equals u plus 1 when we add 1 to both sides. If we change the format here of u prime and we call it du over dx, we get du over dx equals u plus 1. And now this is a separable differential equations problem that we can solve. We'll do so by multiplying both sides by dx and we'll get du equals u plus 1 times dx. We'll go ahead and divide both sides by u plus 1, the quantity u plus 1, and we'll get 1 over u plus 1 du equals dx. And now we've separated our variables. Everything on the left-hand side is in terms of u. Everything on the right-hand side is in terms of x. As with any separable differential equations problem, our next step is to integrate both sides. So we'll take the integral of the left-hand side and the integral of the right-hand side. When we do that, We'll get natural log of the absolute value of u plus 1. Remember that the integral of 1 over x is natural log of x, so same goes when we have u plus 1 here in the denominator. So natural log of the absolute value of u plus 1. Over on the right-hand side, the integral of dx is just x, and we want to make sure that we add c to account for our constant of integration. The goal here now is to solve this equation for u so that we can back substitute x plus y for u. The way that we'll do that is by raising both sides to the base e, so we'll say base e like this. When we do that, we'll get e and natural log to cancel on the left hand side, and we'll be left with absolute value of u plus 1 is equal to, over here we have e to the quantity x plus c. We can change that to e to the x times e to the c. Whenever we have a sum here in our exponent on, on the base e, we can separate them and instead we have now the product of e to the x and e to the c. e to the c right here is a constant, so we can just call that c, we bring it out in front, and this changes to c e to the x, so we're just left with c e to the x over on the right hand side. To get rid of our absolute value brackets, we'll add a positive or negative sign like this to the right hand side, but because we have this c value here, it'll just absorb the positive negative sign because we'll still end up solving for the appropriate value of c, so we just have u plus 1 equals c e to the x. If we subtract 1 from both sides, then we can say that we now have an equation for u, and we can back substitute x plus y for u. So we'll plug x plus y in for u, and we get c e to the x minus 1, and now we want to solve this for y. That's always been the goal is to get an equation in terms of y. So we'll subtract x from both sides and we'll get y equals c e to the x minus x minus 1. We don't have an initial condition, so we can't actually solve for c. We just have to leave it here as a placeholder constant. But this is our final equation for the differential equation. y equals c e to the x minus x minus 1. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.